This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1231. What are the benefits of CrossFit? And is it safe? By Jane Chertoff with Healthline.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the websites and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now again, today's post is from Healthline.com and I love reading their posts because they always provide evidence for any claims that they make. When you visit their site, you can actually find the published studies that they reference in their posts. And if you've listened to any previous episode of my podcast, you'll see that I'm a big fan of citing published research. It's so important. So now that I've built up your expectations, let's finally get to today's post as we optimize your life. What are the benefits of CrossFit? And is it safe? By Jane Chertoff with Healthline.com. CrossFit gyms, known as boxes, are popping up around the world as it grows in popularity. So, what is CrossFit, and what are the health benefits and possible risks? CrossFit is a form of high-intensity power fitness, abbreviated HIPT. A CrossFit workout may include dynamic exercises like plyometric jumping, Olympic weightlifting, kettlebells, and explosive bodyweight movements. Listen on to learn about the benefits of CrossFit and whether it's right for you. 1. CrossFit may improve physical strength. The high-intensity, multi-joint movements in CrossFit may help you gain muscle strength and stamina. Adding additional weight to your workouts can further increase muscle gain by adding stress to your muscles. You can also continuously challenge your muscles by participating in the workout of the day, which will give your muscles some variety. The workout of the day, or WOD, is a signature part of the CrossFit program. Each day, a new set of exercises is posted. The goal is then to complete as many repetitions of each exercise as possible within a set period of time. Two, CrossFit may help you improve aerobic fitness. CrossFit's high-intensity power training, or again, HIPT, may help to increase VO2 max, or the maximum amount of oxygen you can utilize during exercise. VO2 max is one way of measuring cardiorespiratory fitness. However, research has been inconclusive on both the short and long-term effects of CrossFit on physiological changes and aerobic benefits. More research is needed to understand how CrossFit improves aerobic fitness compared to other forms of exercise. Three, CrossFit may improve agility, balance, and flexibility. CrossFit workouts often include functional exercises or exercises that mimic movements you do in everyday life. Functional movements such as squats, kettlebell swings, or overhead presses can help improve agility, balance, and flexibility. They can also reduce your risk for injury and improve your quality of life as you age. Four, CrossFit may help burn calories and manage weight. CrossFit workouts may help you burn more calories than other workouts. During a CrossFit circuit, a 195-pound male or 165-pound female will burn 15 to 18 calories per minute and 13 to 15 calories per minute on average, respectively. You may also continue to burn calories during the recovery period. That's compared to 11 calories per minute and 9 calories per minute during traditional weightlifting using machines. If your goal is weight loss, try following a healthy diet in addition to following a CrossFit exercise regimen. Is CrossFit safe? CrossFit is a high-intensity form of exercise. Your risk for injuries increase any time you increase the intensity of your workouts or the amount of weight you're lifting. Some common CrossFit injuries include low back pain, rotator cuff tendonitis, Achilles tendonitis, knee injuries, and tennis elbow. If you're new to CrossFit, it's a smart idea to work with a trained fitness professional that can make sure you're doing the exercises properly. Having improper form, trying to move through exercises too quickly, or lifting more than you can handle can all lead to injury. Beginners should go at a slower pace and increase weight gradually until your fitness level improves. CrossFit isn't safe for everyone. If you're pregnant and are already practicing CrossFit, it may be fine to continue but make sure to talk to your doctor first. If you're pregnant and new to CrossFit, you should wait until after your pregnancy to start this regimen. CrossFit isn't safe if you're injured or have other serious health concerns. 
make sure you get cleared by your doctor first or work with a physical therapist before starting CrossFit. If you're over age 65 and already physically fit, CrossFit may or may not be safe for you to try. Talk to your doctor before starting. Getting started with CrossFit. If you're interested in trying CrossFit, look online for an affiliate box in your area. Most CrossFit centers require beginners to sign up for two or three private or semi-private training sessions. These can cost between $150 and $300 to attend. Once you've completed the training sessions, you can sign up for group CrossFit classes or continue working with a personal trainer. While it's possible to do a workout of the day on your own after you're familiar with the CrossFit exercises, if you're a beginner, you should work with a trained professional at a CrossFit box first. The instructors can model each of the moves and watch your form to confirm you're doing it correctly. They can also introduce you to all of the equipment. CrossFit exercises can be modified to accommodate beginners or those new to fitness. You'll still need to work with the trainers at your local box to start. You may want to work one-on-one with a trainer for longer until you feel comfortable and you increase your fitness level. If you're new to CrossFit, always go at your own pace and don't lift more weight than you're comfortable with. Easing into exercise will help decrease your risk for injuries. CrossFit is a high-impact form of fitness. Always check with your doctor before starting a new exercise program like CrossFit, especially if you're new to exercise or have a health condition. Takeaway. CrossFit may be an effective workout for losing weight, building strength, agility, and flexibility, and improving your aerobic fitness. However, it may not be right for everyone. If you have a health condition or injury, talk to your doctor before trying CrossFit and consider working with an instructor when you're starting instead of relying on online videos or workouts. They can help you learn proper form, which may reduce your risk for injury. You just listened to the post titled, What are the benefits to CrossFit? And is it safe? By Jane Chertoff with Healthline.com. And now, if you've been putting off doctor's appointments or they feel like a chore, you're gonna wanna hear this. Plush Care makes it super easy to schedule an appointment and see a doctor virtually through your smartphone or computer. I just pick a time that works for me, book it online, and no need to wait on hold or even leave the house and sit in a crowded waiting room. I can be diagnosed, treated, and even have a prescription sent to my pharmacy of choice if needed within minutes. And Plush Care accepts most major insurance carriers. Plus is available in all 50 states. These doctors care, hence the name, and are even available to help you if you're having difficulty managing your emotions. Check them out. It was super easy for me to get started. It only took a minute. Plush Care makes it easier than ever to take care of yourself, inside and out. Start your membership today. Go to plushcare.com slash OHD to start your free 30-day trial. That's P-L-U-S-H-C-A-R-E dot com slash O-H-D for a free 30-day trial. Plushcare.com slash O-H-D. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. When I first started incorporating CrossFit-style exercises into my workouts, I had my buddy help train me. Even though I am a certified exercise physiologist and was at the time, I wasn't familiar with many of the CrossFit exercises. I didn't want to injure myself, so I had my friend, who was familiar with CrossFit and had a master's degree in kinesiology, train me. He showed me how to perform a proper deadlift, how to properly row on the rowing machine, how to perform a perfect push press, how to perform hang cleans and kettlebell swings, And he didn't just have me watch him perform these moves once or twice. He watched me perform them many times until my form was perfect and it was like second nature. Then and only then would I consider adding these moves into my workout routines and then adding more weight. And I'll tell you, there were some moves that I flat out refused to perform. My preferences were to no longer perform box jumps because that's how I injured my back once. I didn't want to learn how to perform overhead squats. I just thought it was simply too dangerous for me. So as today's author Jane emphasized, CrossFit may not be right for everyone. Or maybe it's right for you. But like me, you just don't prefer to perform all of the CrossFit moves. That's fine. You can still incorporate 
some of the moves that you are comfortable with. You can still incorporate their ideas of high-intensity power training if you want. But of course, as always, be sure to check with your doctor first. If you get the all clear, then by all means, enjoy and best of luck. All right, that'll do it for me for today. I'll be back here tomorrow for our usual Friday Q&A, so definitely stay tuned for that where your optimal life awaits.